As we first reported Tuesday, a new facility has reopened to help Bozeman's homeless. And our Judy Slate has been following this story for more than a year now, correct? That's right, Dennis. Uh, Amos House originally opened about two years ago as a homeless shelter and as a soup kitchen. It closed last June. The HRDC took the place over and reopened it earlier this year as transitional housing, earlier this week rather, a place where men and eventually women down in their luck can get a helping hand. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I'm not as young as I used to be and it was just it was scary. Scott Hall is homeless. After an illness and losing his job, he was kicked out of his place a few weeks ago. This is great. I was expected to live in the truck and <laughs> pull it into Walmart or something like that. But Scott is not living in his truck. He's the first resident here at Amos House, HRDC's newest transitional housing. Our target is that everyone's transitioned into permanent housing within three months, but that can go up to six months depending on what barriers they have to employment and housing. HRDC already offers a transitional housing program for families and ran the warming center the past two winters. And here's the laundry room, so we've got capacity full, uh, extra capacity washers and dryers. This is where the men will sleep. There are eight bunks. Now the difference between this place and the warming center is that there's no on-site supervision. So they have to be capable of independent living in a group setting um, and take care of all of those things on their own. All of the residents will go through a third evaluation. We're targeting folks that have really just had a temporary setback um, that don't have a chronic substance abuse problem or are not typically chronically homeless either. And eventually Amos House will open its doors to women with an addition to the rear of the house. And it will go back approximately to the end of that. Other For now here. HRDC is taking its Amos time Amos filling Amos, Amos House. <laughs> Looks good to me. <laughs> Hoping to ensure success for everyone who lives here. My goal is by August to have my own place. That's my goal. And I believe it's achievable. I believe it's achievable as well. I really want to thank Scott for sharing his story with us. Now, it will cost between fifty dollars and $60,000 a year to operate Amos House once it's full and up and running. And where did you find that that money will come from to, to get it going? That is a great question because it's a lot of money. They got a $20,000 grant from HUD, and then they got a $10,000 a year matching grant from the Dennis and Phyllis Washington Foundation. But they have to match it to use it. Go to our website and find out how you can donate. Right. Thank, Thank you, very you much. Judy. Thank you.